Hello and welcome to Tykes TV. Uh, you all know who I am. Uh, Andy in red corner for some, I think he's got a season ticket over here. Uh, mm -hmm. Charlie, uh, always a pleasure to have you. And Ryan as well, great to have you on. Uh, we have some good debates and just good discussions as well, really, about for a two, and we'll get on about that a bit later. So, yeah, coming with you, Andy. I mean, mm -hmm. I, have you have you nursed these any after that, uh, after that performance? Uh, I wore, well, as you know, I wore really, really... <laughs> Worried about that game, at, well, yeah. the way at their oh, place. Oh, sure. um, and yeah, um, I thought we approached it uh, bang on. To be honest, uh, in fact, I, I think we're a little bit unlucky not to come away uh, with win. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, very very happy with that. Um, probably not the best game we'll ever see, but I, again, I expected it anyway. Um, a little bit of scrapping some players. Do you think it was a bit of a stalemate, though, Andy, with two t teams more or less knowing yeah. one another this season? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, I, I think Friday's going to be a totally different type of game. Um, but, yeah, more than happy. And exceeded me expectations, because, like I said before, I, I wasn't 100% uh, confident about coming away from Bolton, we hoped. Um but yeah, they just sent. Yeah, I know they had like a lot of possession, but they did seem to get really nowhere, did they? Um, Bolt, and I was happy with that. They can do that all day for me. Charlie, I mean, going what Andy was saying, he's saying it's not one of the best games, but I, I, I kind of saw it as in two sides. You know, this season we've won, drawn, and lost. You know, we've met them three times, and it our ass sort game. You know, we'll come around to Charlie and then Ryan, but. And our sort of game is that it were like a bit of a stalemate. We didn't have much possession, but what we did do well, what I liked, is that we closed down and pressed well, not allow Bolton. They, they had ball, but we didn't really draw weight, if I'm being honest. I thought, I get where Andy's coming from. I, I thought we could have probably come away with a, a win. I don't think it would have been, uh, you know, out against run at play, to be fair, because I thought we did, t you know, we were more threatening most of the time away. Fair play to follow in as well, uh, Medicine Z and that. But Charlie, how did you see the game, mate? Yeah, um, I mean, for me, credit where credit's due. Lads have gone to Bolton, done what they've had to do, um, and got a well deserved point. Don't get me wrong, it, I do think we could have had, well, same point. I do think we could have had the win. Mm. Um, Bolton looked dangerous at times. I, I think that there were a little pocket of space just in front of our back four. Where their attacking midfielder kept dropping into, and at mm. times, a couple of times we weren't picking him up. But for the rest of the game, you know, Connell, Kane, they were doing the job. Um, I think it's the probably say it's a perfect kind of game now to set up Friday. Um, it's basically a nil-nil again. Start fresh. You've got to go out and win that game. Mm. You know, you can't look and think, well, it's one-one if you know. We go one nil up. It's two one. Now you go one nil up. That's it. Get cracking. Two or three more. Um, to be honest with you, Neil, I didn't get nervous. A lot of mm. people we watched it in a pub, and a lot of people around me were going, "Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous." Mm. And it just didn't seem to phase. Like I weren't phased by it. I, I just thought we're gonna do what we've got to do here. And for me, we did it well. Did it well, yeah. Ryan, I mean, coming off from what Andy and both Charlie have said, it was, you know, a workmanlike performance. We did his job. Uh, a few little tweaks, what we could make, like what Charlie picked up on there. They were just dropping him at the little gap there. But again, a lot were made about, you know, would Anderson be back? You know, fingers crossed, and he did. He come back, and he, I'm not jinxed out, but I'm hoping after that game, he hadn't picked up on and it niggles. You know, it's a short space of time. But we also got on about front two, and I don't know about uh, your lot, but Ryan, I mean, I thought Teddy said what, probably one of the best games I've seen, I wouldn't ball up him doing what he's had to do. Yeah, we're really good, weren't it? Teddy, they, they were all really good, to be mm -hmm. fair, Neil. They all, I thought we played really well. It was a near perfect, you know, away leg, you know, of a semi final performance. It was just, I thought we were really unfortunate not to come away with win because I thought we were clearly a better team. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of bottom fans have said, have said on, on, online said the same thing. They're lucky to come away with a draw, really. Mm. Um, you know, I know it's I know it scores a level, but I think it's I think it's advantage us really. We got we got we got home advantage now. 
And I think, you know, we showed on Saturday we were, we were a better team. They played it near, near on perfect. You know, we obviously are an attacking team, but, you know, no guess decided. Well, unless you're Chef Wednesday, no guess decided on first uh, at first game, does it, uh, really? And no again decided on, on, on Saturday between two really good teams and that have had some close games, you know, a few close games already this season. So... To get a one-all draw and go back to Oakwell, I think it's it's it's, it's near on perfect, mate. It's near on perfect. Um, Just pick up on that bit, Ryan. Performance, nearly. With the performance, we we played really well. We played. We looked really solid. We had, we we limited them to two shots all game. One of them were on target, and that weren't really a shot. It bobbled. It, you know, it were, let's have it right. Their goal were fortunate. It was a good build-up. It was a good cross. Yeah. But that little touch off Eastead's gloves bobbled it up into his knee. He missed. It 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 gone past him. Charles, he, he just hit his knee and went up into goal. It would have, you know, I suppose you've got to, you know, you want to win a lot, you've got to buy a ticket, haven't you? But he's, they were a tad, a tad fortunate to get that goal, I thought. Um, but then we never panicked, you know, we didn't panic because the crowd got behind them. It was noisy. I tell you, that their goal when they scored, that's one of the loudest cheers I've heard at a game live for a long time. I thought Roof were going to come off. It was loud when we scored, but when they scored, Christ, it was unbelievable noise. Um, and they proper got behind him, the Bolton fans after that goal, like, but we didn't, you know, we were really pleasing to see that we didn't fold. And we just, from then, we just sort of saw it out and sort of played it out for the one all without taking any risks, you know, because there's no need, is there? Because you can't win, you can't win the tie at that stage. Let's get him back to Oakwell, get Oakwell packed, get it bouncing, and let's go, let's go, go finish the job. Interesting, but I mean, we just had a bit of a, you know, yeah, your take on that and Charlie's as well. And it's like, I get where Charlie's coming from, but you go into a game, it's still a draw. And I get where you're coming from, Ryan, where you're saying advantage us. We are, you know, it is 1-1-1. One, one, one. So if you do go 2-1 up, it's a, I, I get, I kind of get that, but I look at it on the same way as well, is that Duff's always said he plays first five, five minutes, second five. So it's like a game of two halves and this, this is a game of four halves really now, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't think... Duff will allow complacency set in. I think all, you know, we are with what's been put in there because let's face it, against Peterborough, we all kind of knew, you know, we won't want to pick up in injuries. And barring any little niggles, I think it's like part of job done. I won't say job done, but part of job done. Like I said, Veer against, like you said, Wednesday, first game, that, that's a mountain for them. But we've still got destiny in his own hands. So I get where you're coming from. Good, good. Uh, Contrast their opinions, kind of thing. There, Andy. I mean, we we said about Mads uh, being, you know, key at back back at defence, and I think it, it more or less stood out, didn't it? It, it kind of assured us and tried to unify it back back free. Were you were you pleased that Anderson were on because you you were saying, oh, we'll probably start me even from like seventy percent fit and back. But looking what you see via, you think, yeah. But you know, but his playoff chances have, have improved. Oh yeah, uh, I know we, we took foot off gas at last couple of games, like because they were like bit of pointless games really for our side of the But uh, I think you could see that we missed him, and uh, yeah, against Bolton. I, I've said um, on my videos, it, I personally think he's one of the best, if not the best centre back. Um, in league, I know I'm biased, but uh, he had a mistake. Line up, didn't he? For so yeah, he yeah, one. yeah. He only makes a mistake, doesn't he? And uh, I, I thought he had a great game at back. Um, yeah, can't fault him. Um, and that did not make me feel a little bit more assured when I saw that he was starting. It didn't really surprise me that he was, but uh, I was glad when I saw his name on team sheet. Yeah. Um, is a big miss when he's not there, <laughs> definitely. Uh, Charlie, just been on about it, you know, with performance of what got put in, got on about Mads being in League One and obviously player at season kind of thing. So just could show how influential he is. <sighs> Bit of a tough ask this like now. I kind of I think probably gonna get all answers as it is, but with that game, as it's, it's like parked up put aside, we've done that job there, we've gone there, we've come away with a result, favourable result. I'm lucky not to ever win, and like I think we've kind of all agreed it. But I think before when we preview game, it, you know, it won one, 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 one. So we all kind of knew it was going to be a close game. Evan looked at that game via 
going into Oakwell uh, game, would you make any changes? And I think it's going to be it's going to be interesting this light now because some will say don't change your winning side or you know set the time what's put in or would you just change it just to tweak something? What 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 would you be looking at? Um, I'll be honest, Neil. I I really don't know. Um, mm. I don't think or Cole really de- uh, deserve to be dropped. Um, I mean, I mentioned that last video, start Tedic, and it's proved exactly what I said. Oak mm. ball, big Brusson, um, obviously, sent forward striker, and drop him. Surely, you can't drop him against Bolton. Otherwise, mm. you've lost that physicality. If you drop Cole, again, are you going to be losing that kind of, that drive and that, Mm-hmm. The alternative is if you put Norwood in, Norwood pushes more. Norwood pushes the back three more. Is that what we need at home? Do we need to swap Cole and Norwood and mm-hmm. allow Norwood to have the high press? Because Cole doesn't seem to do it. Mm-hmm. Norwood does. If there were any changes, probably, probably drop Cole and put Norwood in. Um, mm-hmm. just Just for the high press because... I think Norwood's a lot more effective and a lot more, well, he's more able to do it, he's more capable, he knows what's required, whereas Cole just seems to back off that little bit too much. Mm. Interesting, yeah, interesting call, that. And just going off that, Ryan, uh, what Charles was saying there, Bolton are going to be coming to Oakwell. I won't say we're going to be going for it, Gunno, but are we going to be, obviously they're going to be coming because they're going to be wanting to win, you know, away from home. So, again, I'll, I'll, I'll ask you, it probably, you know, you might have a different take on it. Would, would you change, Joe? I, it's a good point on what Charles said there, regarding the front two, would Norwood push and press their defenders more to give something to think about rather than them yeah. push up on others and uh, play an eye line? I agree. I agree with Charlie. I, I, mm. don't, I don't think we can drop Chadich. Mm. I think, you know, they've got them big, strong centre-halves. He, he worked them perfectly, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah. It, you know, he, he, he matched them, you're backing him, holding the ball up right well. I mean, he didn't get many shots off, but what he did do, we're brilliant at bringing other people in and allowing us to, you know, to get get out wide and, you know, he's bringing, bringing them in, holding it up so the lads can get in there. I just thought, I, I, if anything, like you say, call for Norwood. Um, but I wouldn't be disappointed if it were call still. Um, mm. Everywhere else on field, no. So leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it as it is. Keep it um, as it is. Yeah, I thought I thought they were all I thought they were all brilliant. I thought Mads were absolutely I thought he were outstanding on Saturday. Yeah. He just yeah. he just the back three look a lot more settled when he's there, don't they? Mm. And it also allowed it allowed Bobby Thomas to push forward a bit more, didn't it? Because he's not having it, he knows he knows he's got Mads at back. So he, he got into that situation where he's that but to be fair, James Trafford's made a great save but he's tried to dink it, you know. I just don't think he had enough space, did he? But he's tried to dink it over the top of him as Thomas. But again, that's allowing him to get forward. He's dangerous on corners. You know, he's scored a few for us this season, hasn't he? Mm-hmm. But he's been allowed to get for, he'll allowed to get forward a bit more on Saturday because, you know, we know we had Mads. Yeah. We had Mads and Kitchen able to get so. Uh, yeah, no, I, I won't change I won't change anything, mate, other than like what Charlie said. Keep it as it is, apart from like for, yep, possibly look at front two. And people are going down, please get you some down. There's link uh I know there's been posts being dotted about all over town and it's gone on social media about when I met Oakwell, uh, sell it out, get atmosphere via red and white scarves and everything like that. Uh, there's more information online, but that's linked for your tickets. £20 adults, so cheap as all, eight, eight quid. Uh, Friday night, under the lights, few drinks, get atmosphere buzzing and be, be bouncing. So, yeah, I mean, and before I come to you, I idea about, you know, your, your line-up, I, I'll open it out to the floor. I mean, what were you taking referee? Because I didn't think you'd back by the game, for being honest. I thought he did all right. I thought he did I all right. tried to let Flo go as best I think he that's exactly what he tried to do, Neil. Yeah, I think he let a bit, maybe a little bit too much go, but I'm not too bothered about that because he weren't, mm. he, he let the game go and, he, you know, he weren't trying, he weren't a stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, wasn't it? Like you get with mm. some refs. Mm. I think he tried to let things go. He weren't buying it for him, from either team, you know, they're backing in and throwing themselves on the floor. He just won't buy it. And I like it when a referee's strong like that, where they don't buy it because sometimes they just fall into them, don't they? But yeah. And fall over, and it's never a foul in a million years. And it, 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 you know, I think they got that early on that ref weren't going to fall for it. I mean, that I thought he did all right. I thought he did all right. Definite. He probably should have given. There was that foul on Kane in first half when he went out down by left hand touch line, where we got it out. And he's managed to clear it on, on our left hand touch line near down near our area. Yeah. 
and he's cleared it and lads absolutely clattered him after the ball and he's a yellow card all day long so maybe probably right. like, it was bad that it would but it would take it would a poor challenge wasn't it it were poor you know i think he's probably let a couple of things go but he's tried to keep game going any it? it's a semi final you know so it yeah. were a definite yeah. foul on his and all it were a definite foul on his head early when he went up for but ball there <laughs> Yeah, no, he was definite foul. That look, he didn't get sent off. <laughs> Goalkeepers are play. protected, mate. So, <laughs> yeah, we're definite foul. Well done, he's dead. Oh, I hope you recovered well from it, mate. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Andy, I mean, uh, like what uh, Ryan just said, VN Charlie picked up on it, but you know, it was a terrible foul on Herbie Kane. Uh, referee again, all being where we can get a uh, someone who was like allowing to look, uh, allow game to flow kind of thing, playoffs and back to state. But I mean, would you be changing anybody uh, come out well, Ty, Andy? You're going to probably say change your team now. Go on. <laughs> uh, I'll add this to that, but uh, <laughs> yeah. we'll leave it back now. Um, no, I don't think there's no need, is there? Unless they've like, picked up some niggles before game, you know, in training or whatever. Um, but now I'd keep it as it is. Um you know, but then again, you know, Duff, I think Duff uh, likes rotating uh, players a bit, doesn't he, sometimes? So, personally, I'd I'd keep it as it is, but uh, if the match changes, then, then so be it. But uh, I'm expecting a a late night me on Friday. I don't know what you all think. I, I think it's going to be another tough game. Is it a Mr. Negative? <laughs> Bloody hell! You're on an IV, you just like dampen atmos, mate. <laughs> Bloody hell! Right, we'll come round to the score prediction a bit later, Andy. All right. Yeah. Like, I thought we were going up Crystal Wavy. Yeah, we're going, we're going. I'm like, it's going to be late night penalties or we're going playing past midnight to be sure. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> Charlie. I mean, <laughs> oh god, Charlie. Uh, do we? Alter this game, you know, we know both is going to come. Do, we don't sit back, do we, or just soak it up. We just play a normal game and, 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 and impose ourselves onto them, don't we? Yeah, I mean, for me, um, only thing I would do is probably press a bit higher, press a bit okay. quicker. We're at home, you know, they're coming to our ground. We can't let them dictate the game. Mm. Get into them early, set that high press early. Put a, put a, I'm not going to say a nasty challenge, but put a firm challenge in. You know, we've got the likes of Kitchen that can do it. Like he did against Derby, I think it were. Get that yeah. challenge in. Get that eye press. And let them know, what are you? you are not controlling what you do. It's our home game. You've had your bit. Obviously, it's now us. This is how we want to play. This is, our, this is what we're going to do. And you've got to try and find a way to deal with us because I think when we press and when we have a high press, that's when we're at us best because we cause teams to make mistakes and give the odd ball away. And we know what happens from that. We kind of build an overload or a counter-attack and teams can't deal with it. Yeah, good call that. Mm. Ryan, I mean, would you go with the same, you know, high press and impose our game on Bolton? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they don't, there's there's not many teams can cope with it when we get when we give the high press. I just thought the press were good on Saturday, but at times it looked it it, it looked like they were doing it in stages because they weren't doing it all the time. They weren't doing it all the time, and it weren't. You think we're reserving this thing because it was a warm day, wasn't it? It was. It was a warm, yeah, it was a warm, wasn't it? Warm, but also, you know, like I said, it's not it's not an all out game, and no one's getting decided on that game. Is there? You know, we, that's why we played. I thought I thought we played it first, day, but I think the it it, it would have. It could well be a good tactic because it could be that you know they're not going to they're going to think that that's the press and then when we do pro proper press and when we get them to work well, which we will, mm. which we will. I, I'm 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 not I might, I might end up with egg on my face, but I think we beat I think we beat them Friday. I do. I just think we'll beat them. I thought we looked really good on Saturday. Shh, don't I thought if I think if we just push it that little bit more to because we can go and win the title. We can win the tie on Friday, can't we? We can win it. I, th I think we go and beat them. Yeah, still going to be close, so we can't we can't switch off because, like they said, no. they're a good side Bolton. So, yeah, you never, yeah, Lee, Lee said about him a better. Andy, um, <laughs> school prediction. This is going to be a laugh, this, and I don't know if it's going to you first or last or not at all. <laughs> but Andy, what? school predictions, mate. 
for Friday? What on penalties? Or, or, no, <laughs> no, nice <laughs> um, no. Um, Come on. I don't think it's going to be a closing. Um, what five? No. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. It's well, I, I do. What's, I do what's have doubting you now, then? What's doubting you now? We've got to wait, Bolton. No. We've got a good result here. What's going to be doubting us being at no. home? No, it's doubting me. Um, I, I do actually think that you know we'll we'll get through. Honestly, I do. Uh, but it's I think it's going to be a very very tough game. I mean, like that is it Charles? Who they've got up front? I, mm. I think he's a a great player. Him, uh, I like look at him. Um, so you know we've got to be on his toes. It's going to be a tough one. Um, I would be surprised if. It goes to extra time, and I think we might sneak it in extra time, me. Really? Yeah, but score-wise, I I think there'll probably be about, I don't know, one goal in it. I I don't think there'll be lots of goals in it. But then again, everyone said that. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So one goal in it in 90 minutes you're going for. Yeah. Charlie? Um... I don't know why. I'm going to say 3 1. Okay. We're going to get an early goal. I think that we're going to get a second goal and double his lead. I do think Bolton's going to score and I think mm. they'll pull it back to 2 1. But then I think we'll just get that goal that, that's the killer. And I'm going to go for 3 1. I think the occasion, the atmosphere, yeah. Players are going to be up for it. We know what's at stake. For a lot of them players, that were their first experience in a playoff game. Mm. They've had it away from home. It can't get no worse. You're at home. You've got your own fans behind you. We've got, you know, we know what we can do when we're at home. So I'm going to go 3 1. And I do think, I think it'll be game over after. 65, 70 minutes. That'll please Andy Vent will keep him happy. <laughs> three one, Charlie. Ryan, uh your score prediction, mate. I think Charlie's like saying three one. I think we'll beat yeah. him three one. Yeah. That's 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 what I heard him. That's what I've got in my head. I think it'll be I think it'll be a lot closer. I think it'll be closer, you know, still a close game at first half. I just think I just think we'll just have that little bit too much for him. Mm. They are a good team. They've got to improve, Bolton. To be fair, they, you know, I think a lot of the fans were saying they weren't that they weren't at the best on Saturday. I think you could probably see that they get ball away quite a bit, hmm. uh, even though they were, you know, they defended well, they were resilient. They were they didn't have much going forward, did they? So there's a chance that they could obviously um, surprise us um, if they get that bit better. But I'm hoping that obviously the occasion at Oakwell, with the noise we're going to be making, and that is 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 going to. It's going to be a massive advantage for us. Uh, I just, I just think, I just think we'll beat them. Mate. I just think we'll beat. I think you know that many. We've had that many good performances at Oakwell this season. Yeah. yeah, I think this is going to be another one. I think it's going to be three-one. I'll take that all day long. I'm going two-one. I just think that a kit. I it's going to be an island because Bolton are going to have to come and win. Obviously, we already told them we've got home advantage. Pressure be on our players. We shouldn't be because we're going to be behind them. We're going to be helping them through. Uh, I'm hoping anyway. I can see it being a similar game to the like Chef Wednesday game where for a lot of interpretation like, oh God, what we're gonna do here, they're gonna turn others over because we went to their place. And mm. do you know what? I think the place were bouncing, it was absolutely electric. You could sense it walking to the ground. I'm hoping that's gonna happen. I'm 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 relating to this game now like I'm doing the Walsall game in playoffs last time, where I think if we can get behind him and if we can hit him and press and get a quick goal early on, it's going to make Bolton come out and try and push and play. But I think we'll we'll have enough to exploit it. I, I just think we're going to do it 2-1. Um, I, 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 people have been saying, like, oh, I'm, I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit apprehensive. And uh, this was uh, when it last week on social media. And I'm thinking, we can't even play a game yet. And then when I saw the Chef Wednesday game, and I'm thinking, do you know what? It can't be. We can't be any worse than that. And we've done what we've had to do. We've readdressed it. We've, we know what it takes. And I think credit's down to Duff and his team because we came into this and people like saying, I've been burned out too early. We've run out of steam and this other. 
and what a good message that boy. I'm like, no, we aren't. We're here. Now, yeah. everybody was like saying after Chef Wednesday had a blip and we've been on top and but we're getting too far in front of us. Um, I don't think we as Barnsley fans, if I'm being honest, I, I might be wrong on this. I don't think we've really like said, right, we're going up automatic, apart from, you know, we might be looking no, mathematically possible. We're still in touching distance, but we never were like bronzing and bragging about it. We're always being realistic. And I think Duff has instilled that into players. So I'm going 2 1. Um, I just, I, I think mainly just because of the home advantage. And here's one for you, but just before we end it, if we had to play the first leg at Oakwell and it were one apiece, yeah. What would your thoughts have been going into the Bolton game? Mm. That's a good one. It's a good question. I'd have, you? I'd have probably been thinking we've got to get us all because mm. one if they if they'd have got the first goal if it were away from home. Mm. Um, sorry, this game were away from home. If they'd have got the first goal, I'd have said that's it, game over. Right. A lot of people go. It don't really matter whether we've got home like I think it does. And mm. I think Friday's going to prove it. Um, I'd have probably said it was game over. And I was just going to quickly add as well, we you saying Bolton, Ryan as well, Bolton's going to push on us. They're going to they're gonna be, you know, attacking us. That's when we're at our best. When yeah. teams attack us, we, you know, we counteract that and we hit them on break. So let them come. Let them attack us. And, we'll, you know, we, we know that we've got the... The squad strength and depth to constantly keep it in them, play fast paced football and get up that pitch quickly. Mm. Yeah, Ryan, what would your take be on it, mate? Just what Ryan said there if if it had been going to Bolton and we won, won a piece, would you would you alter? Would you would your mindset alter any? Um, probably a bit, yeah. I think I think that I think the home crowd is going to be a, a massive part of, yeah. of the performance just because I know. What the crowd have done for us this season against against Wednesday, against Derby, against mm. uh, Plymouth, you know all them big games that we had. Where does we make a difference? One and one, yeah, it does. It makes a, it makes a massive difference. And also, oh. I shouldn't say, influence referee as well, or officials. Yeah, I think um, I'd have probably said if it were one all at Oakwell, it'd be very close. Bit you know, probably a single goal in it, maybe even go to penalties. Well, um, doing what an answer. I mean, doing, the, the, that crowd. I have to, I have to, I have to give it tip me cap to them, uh, Bolton crowd. Like the, the atmosphere were unbelievable on Saturday. It really was. And obviously, both teams played a massive part in that. But they were loud with Bolton fans Saturday. They really mm. did get behind the team. Mm. So you can imagine, like Charlie said, if they got the first one and got behind them and got in front, it'd be, that'd be difficult to overcome. That. Yeah. Um, but as it happens, it's all the way around, isn't it? So all the way around, and we're going to win, <laughs> right? I'm going to ask you, Andy. Right, if it had been. If it had been going, I don't know what answer it had been. It said now it had been other way. But if it had been one apiece and we're going to Bolton, what you'd have been, well, you wouldn't have been able to sleep, or you would you? You'd have been like, no. Would you? Are put, you glad that you're a Tom for second leg, mate? Yeah, I think I'd have put BT Sports on and watch uh, SmackDown <laughs> or something. <laughs> <instead>. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it would have been totally different. I think I would have uh, really not uh, been. Confident going to their place, we won one. But yeah, uh, I like mean, I'll say this. I'll say this, yeah. Andy. I mean, it's like what yeah. lads have said. Being at home, it does make a difference. With it crowd, does. Doesn't it? You know, with, it does. You know, it does. Behind yeah. Them. That, that's why I, I, I do think that we'll we will get through on Friday. Honestly, do. But I, I do think it's going to be a tough old battle. Mm. <laughs> Without a doubt, it's going to be because um, I, I think they're a, a great team, and like I said, they've got. Um, that player up front to I think he, yeah, I think he looks quality him. Um, he keeps brilliant as well, isn't he? That James yeah. Trafford, yeah. he's on, he's on yeah. the but he's he, he's quality. He makes he makes yeah. a really good save Saturday. So I think we're in for a good game, honestly I do. And and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Good game um, and the bounce of win on there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right. Links below, uh for tickets, let's pack court well at. Just before I'm gonna end this off, right? I, I'm all, I don't know what answer's going to be. What do you think uh, the posh are going to do against the South Yorkshire neighbours? They're going to go through, aren't they? Oh, 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 of course yeah. they are. Yeah. The posh, the mighty posh. I'm hoping so mm. because I'll get young young yeah. Jacob uh, on. Has anybody got any doubts for? Do you think? Oh no, we're going to 
No, not really. No, I don't. I don't think. No. So. I mean, you, we've all been to probably Hillsbury, Hillsbury past, and it's you know it's it's a big ground, and they make a lot of noise when they get behind. I think if they get an early goal Wednesday, you know it might you know for maybe a couple of early goals, maybe first half an hour, it, it, it it's potentially back on then, isn't it? But I just think probably Peter were a bit too good to be getting gubbed for. Yeah. I think with Darren Ferguson, he's a wily old fox. He's very experienced. Yeah. He's a really he's a brilliant coach. They don't have to go out and chase game. Do they? They're set up well, aren't they? When, when, when's they do? So they can literally just they can they, they can probably sit back and hit them up break. And when they've they got some pace they, up front and all, oh, they're, they're, they're scary, there. aren't they? That yeah. that front four, them 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 lads at pace, they, they, they can attack brilliant from Peterborough. Mm. It's, it's frightening, really. So no, I think I think they've got to go through. I think Wednesday might nip it in game, maybe maybe by a goal or something, maybe two one. But I don't think I don't think they're going to overhaul a four goal difference. No, no. Peterborough no. too good for that. No, cool. I'm going to chuck my neck on line. I think I think not. Wednesday's not going to win. That's not what I'm saying. I'll just put that out there first. I think Peterborough's going to absolutely trounce them again. Yeah. This is not just me saying it because. Good lad. <laughs> this, this this is me saying it. You know, you can tell with the way that Peterborough play and the way that Wednesday play. I can see the exact same happening. Mm. Game at Hillsborough as what happened yeah. at Peterborough. I think if Peterborough is to mount counter attack, Wednesday's mm. defenders are fairly old. You've got them four for Peterborough going forward. You can guarantee they get six counter attacks. They get thrown into edge at box. They're they're going to score at least three. Mm. I, I'm I'm going to go three four nil Peterborough. I, I genuinely genuinely do. I, I think. That's that it. means Bannon will be crying again, wouldn't it? Oh, I mean, dearie, dearie it's, me. it's not bad, is it, to say that all Wednesday fans said they had League One in uh, January, February, like, but you know, you that's how it goes. Keep yeah. your powder dry, keep your powder dry. <laughs> Pre booking coaches, never mind. Yeah. We'll take them off you, we'll take them off you. Uh, right, so playoff final, then just uh, put it out of here. Playoff final, Barnsley Peterborough. Yeah. 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 Full house. Bound with Peterborough. We'll take about all day long. Right. So uh hope you've enjoyed the show. Like I said, links uh in VA for tickets. Let's ram it out. Let's pile it. Let's get it via let's atmosphere. Let's get a, a nice uh trip down south to a second dome. Um and let's do it. Andy, Charlie, and Ryan, as always, it's been a pleasure. Some good debates, some good laughs and banter and all. We've had a, we've had a, a good uh, natter. Uh, hope you go to, oh, well, get via. Don't watch it on TV. It's a lot better watching live sport. Always better when you take it in. Get the Atmos. Uh, have a few drinks and all. Um, that's, a, that's a bonus and a freebie. So, yeah, enjoy. We can do it. One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs> <laughs>